Hello and welcome to Karen's Creative Cards on YouTube. I am Karen Hashik, and in this video I am sharing six different shaker cards I made as a guest designer diva at Doodles Paper Playground. I recently discovered the fun and unique sequin mixes called Sparkle Blends that Doodles Paper Playground puts together and sells exclusively at White Rose Crafts LLC. There is a link in the description box below. And I had so much fun designing with them. I love to make shaker cards and also trying new ways to make them as well. I used white tool to create this butterfly shaker card with the Spring Fling Sparkle Blend Sequin, sequin Mix. It is easy to do and the card is flat and easy to mail. One of my favorite cards that I made with the Doodle Paper Playground Mixes is the Shake It You Know You Wanna card. I used a punny stamp set from Studio Calico, the Ocean View Sparkle Blend Sequin Mix, and a new product from Thermoweb called Clear Designer Toner Sheets. These are clear acetate sheets with patterns of toner on them so they can be foiled in a hot laminator with foil sheets. That way our shaker cards can have a pretty pattern on the acetate windows. So you can see that it's, the sequins are moving in that shaker box and the shaker um, acetate has pretty foiled images on there. This is what the do, and it's called Doodles, which is really appropriate, right? Because this is Doodles Paper Playground. This um, acetate sheet from Thermoweb um, looks like this, and those patterns on there have toner on them, so you can send them through your laminator, and they will become um, sparkly and colorful. Everyone loves minions and cupcakes, right? I used the Bright Crown Jewels Sparkle Blends Mix along with cupcake dyes from Karen Berniston and cute minion and sentiment stamps from So Susie Stamps on this fun cards. So the sequins move in that cupcake. It says, eat cupcakes because it's somebody's birthday somewhere. Happy birthday, my sweet friend. Stars is the theme of this card that I made with the Rosy Gold Sparkle Blend Mix and Star Dyes from Memory Box and Lil Inker. <clears throat> you can see that. And on the inside it says, Totally stellar, far out, groovy, and every way. The reason I like that is because my husband does say that occasionally. <clears throat> And this St. Patrick's Day shows uh, card shows choosing to make a shaker with just one of the windows created in this card. And I used the Test Your Luck Sparkle Blend Mix. The hearts were made with tonic dyes. I attached one of a couple of the flowers on top. And then on the inside it says Lucky to Know You. I'm going to make this Hello Spring Shaker card in this video and here are the supplies that I used. I used the Sparkle Blends Spring Fling Mix that I'll show it to you um, open as well. I used this Blossom Spray dot and drop die from Tonic Studios that was designed exclusively for scrapbook.com. I used this Hello Spring die um, from a company that's called Cheapo Dies. Now, I wish they would change their name, frankly, because this is a legitimate company. It's being sold by Dies R Us in the United States, but the name makes it sound like it's one of those ripoff companies um, that we don't like to use. But this is a legitimate company, and their prices are a little less their prices are a little less expensive. I'm using the Nuvo uh, Glow Drops, the EK Success Powder Tool, some mounting tape, and glue. 
I'm using a tool called Crystal Katana, which is going to pick up some of the sequins and move them. And I'm using a Score Buddy, a Score Pal, and some acetate sheets from the paper cut. I cut a yellow card base 5.5 by 11 and folded it in half for a top folding card. I cut a bright pink piece of cardstock 5.5 by 5 5.5 and die cut the beautiful Blossom Spray Dot and Drop die um, by Tonic Studios for scrapbook.com um, for the top. I love sequin mixes that have a different size shapes and beads mixed in with sequins of many colors. I dumped a package of spring fling mix onto a paper plate so that you can see the variety in this package. We've got some butterflies, we've got different size sequins, we've got beads, um, a really fun spring mix. I am going to um, attach some of the um, little hearts from that uh, sprinkle mix um, to the card. Um, as you can see on the card that I completed, I decided that um, these beautiful sprays here of dots would be really pretty to use sequins and also the Nouveau Glow Drops. So I um, decided to use hearts on every other one of those. And so I have laid out a pattern of those um, on a paper plate. And then what I'm going to do is apply this fine line glue and every other hole in that first spray and then I'm going to use my crystal katana and I'm going to pick up each heart and lay that in that pattern that's already there for you You'd, there for you you don't have to worry about um, perfect placement because the dots are there for you. I'm trying to keep the hearts going in the right direction while I place them here. being stubborn. Well, hmm. I'll pick one up over here. So those little dots of glue are going to hold those hearts in place. And then I'm going to take the Nouveau Glow Drops. The color is Apple Sour. And put little dots in between. each of those little hearts. And then in the other dot patterns, I'm just going to put all green drops. Now that's going to take a while and then it takes a little while to dry as well. 
So I have one that I have completed. You can see all those green pretty drops in those patterns that are perfectly placed. And then you can see the little hearts that I put from that sequin mix and the rest of the um, glow drops from Nouveau. I have also cut Hello Spring twice, offset them slightly, and glued it back onto the card front. I cut off the bottom spray of the um, die because it just didn't fit. Um, but since I, it was too pretty to toss, I added the green one to the inside of the center of the card. Now this is how I create a shaker card. I always make sure that the piece of paper that I'm making the shaker card matches the size of the card base. Or if I'm just putting a piece, um, you know, making a square on the back, um, as long as the two sizes are the same, it is much, much easier to get them to line up. And I use my score buddy tool to do that. So I will show you how I do that. I make sure we have the top here. Use mounting tape and I cut it into thirds. So it goes a long, long ways. So I, I cut it into thirds lengthwise and I'll do that in a minute. And then I um, do two layers of the mounting tape. So, and then I try to get the mounting tape as close as possible to the image without being shown so that the well is as small as possible. So, um, I will remove this. And put my second layer. And then I just measure but you do want them to be budding right up to each other and and not having any spaces and then again I cut it into thirds Now sometimes I do halves but um, thirds work just fine and so you get a lot more mileage out of your mounting tape let's just put it that way And then I cut another one. Whoop, that came up with my fingers. <clears throat> so we have two layers all around creating the well. I call that a well. And then on the sides, I um, also make sure that in each corner and along the sides, there is mounting tape that is at the same height as the rest. So we have um, a well with two layers, and um, all corners um, will be lifted up equally. So make sure we have the top there. Now so that the um, sequins do not stick to the sides where it is a little sticky or the acetate uh, may have some static, I'm using a EK Success powder tool. If you were to smell this, it smells like what our baby powder used to smell like years ago. Um, but it's going to take away some of the, the the um, stickiness on the sides. Um, then I'm going to remove some of these tops. And I'm going to take some of the beautiful butterflies, make sure those are mixed in there. different sizes of beads from that mix. I'm 
Of course you can put as many or as few as you like. And then I'm going to carefully remove this layer of mounting tape. sequins like to stick to my fingers. Let's see if we can get this one inside. Okay, so we have our well, we have our sequins in there, some on my fingers. Now we're going to make sure we have the top of this to match the top of this. And if you line it up in the corner and along the top, and then press down, it should be lined up pretty good. If there's any yellow showing from that card, you can easily trim it off. I saw a little on this side, but not too bad. All right, so our shaker, butterflies, and sequins are moving nicely. And then I'm just going to add some sequins to finish the card. And of course, these are also from that beautiful mix. And the mix is called Spring Fling, so that's easy to remember is beautiful spring colors and butterflies and I'm ready for that here in Wisconsin for sure. I don't want any glue on the end of my tip. I think I'll... And then one final step because I didn't really like the glue coming out of the opening in the sequin I decided to add a little more of the Nouveau drops in each sequin. And after doing that, um, you do have to allow them to dry a little bit before you touch them. I had um, fun making all of these shaker cards using the great sequin mixes from Doodles Paper Playground. I hope you check them out using the link in the description box below. And thanks for helping me share the joy of creativity.